In this video, we will be talking about real-time pitch. Real-time pitch can be used for the instantaneous tracking of vocal pitch or fundamental frequency, as well as loudness. When you first open the program, this is the window you will see. At the top left, you will have pull down menu buttons, and directly below that, you will have a toolbar with many commonly used functions in the program. To review all of the functions in the toolbar, please click on the help button to see the instructions for use. Below that, you will have windows A and B. These windows are extremely useful for comparison as you can load or create a target signal into one window and record a speaker signal into the other window for comparison. They are also very useful for comparing a user's pre and post treatment signals. Take note that real-time pitch plots both frequency over time as well as energy over time in real time both on the same graph. Let's record a sample to show you what I mean. To record a sample, you can simply press the record button on the toolbar or use the F12 hotkey. We were away a year ago. To stop recording, you can press the space bar. Now here in the graph, you will see the frequency over time contour in blue and the energy over time contour in gray. You can then right click and go to RTP setup to change a variety of the settings about the graph. You can change the color of the contour as well as the smoothing and the thickness of the lines. The program also offers a variety of statistics about the sample. You can go to the toolbar and click on the statistics button to open up a variety of calculated statistics about the sample such as mean frequency, minimum and maximum frequency, as well as a variety of information about the loudness. These statistics can be saved or printed for later use. Much like the graph, you can right click, go to RTP setup, and click on the statistics button to edit what shows up in the statistics dialog box. Real-time pitch also offers a variety of protocols to aid in the recording and analysis of signals. Under the protocols menu, you will see a variety of protocols. You will see biofeedback and assessment protocols. Let's begin with an assessment protocol and do habitual pitch. You will see once I click into a habitual pitch, it'll open up a new window. And then open up a prompt and tell me to count to 10 in a normal voice. However, for our purposes, I will repeat the sentence, we were away a year ago, two times. We were away a year ago. We were away a year ago. Once I am done recording, the program will tell me a variety of statistics, and in this case, my mean fundamental frequency is 126 Hz. Again, these results can be saved or printed for later use. On the graph, again, you will see the frequency contour in blue and the energy contour in gray. These again can be changed in the RTP setup menu. Now, let's do another protocol. Let's go again to the assessment protocols and go to maximum phonation time. Again, you will see another window open and then the prompt open up telling me to take a deep breath and phonate for as long as possible. For our purposes, I will only phonate for a shorter period of time. Press OK to begin. Uh... Press the space bar to stop recording, and here you'll see it'll tell me for the amount of time that I phonated for. Again, these results can be saved and printed, and here you see the frequency and energy contours for the graph. If you have any additional questions about any other protocols or functions of this program, please click the help menu to see the instructions for use.